The American Cancer Society says cancer mortality rates have been dropping for nearly two decades. Thanks to major progress in early detection and treatment options for lung cancer. In fact, they've dropped nearly by one third since the peak back in 1991. Dr. Pradnya Patil, Cleveland Clinic lung cancer oncologist, joining us more to tell us about this. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Todd. How are you? Doing wonderful. Thank you. So obviously 1991, you're talking, you know, 30 years ago. To have it continue for that long has to be just very encouraging for doctors around, around the world. Absolutely. Uh, I consider myself to be really fortunate to be in this really exciting era of lung cancer, so to speak. And what we are seeing now is really the culmination of decades of efforts uh, revolving around you know, decreased in smoking rates, increased screening for lung cancer, and a lot of scientific efforts have go that have gone into trying to understand uh, what drives the cancer, the molecular drivers of cancers, the genomic drivers of cancers. Um, and these have led to the development of many, many new treatments that have truly changed the outlook for our patients. When you talk about treatments that are available, obviously, like you mentioned, stopping smoking, having a better health and lifestyle is a key to something like this. That's going to help dramatically. But what kind of medicines are out there now that are helping people live longer? So within the last decade, we have now come to understand that not all lung cancers are the same. Um, and then many of these lung cancers are in fact driven by what we call driver mutations or genetic mutations within the tumor. Um, and by harnessing this information, in fact, by uh, increasing our ability to detect these genetic mutations and harnessing this information to use what we call targeted therapies. Uh, these are drugs that are designed to work against a particular type of mutation. We've seen significant improvements um, in the survival rates of our patients. Um, another treatment that has been revolutionary is immunotherapy. Um, and immunotherapy seems to have changed the way we treat many, many malignancies, but particularly in lung cancer, we are seeing patients now live many years even potentially, um, which is a, a very welcoming change. When we see tobacco use uh, among children uh, decrease, we see it among uh, young adults increase. Does that bode well for the future of the treatments and developing cures and hopefully living people longer too? Yes, um, I, I think, you know, smoking cessation efforts have to continue. Uh, what we are ne now seeing in terms of decreased cancer mortality from lung cancer is definitely a consequence of the decreased smoking rates that occurred a couple of decades ago. Um, and I think as we continue our efforts and we continue to see decreased incidence of smoking, we'll continue to see improvements in outlook for our patients. What's your take on vaping? A lot of people see it as an alternative to and uh, obviously Obviously, we have, we have seen that in young people as well. Is that, is that a helpful thing if somebody's trying to cut back? But we have seen also not a lot of long-term tests on vaping. Um, I'm sorry, I think we got disconnected. Do okay. you mind repeating that? Sure. I was talking about vaping. That has become something that has been a little more popular, uh, people getting away from smoking, using it as an alternative. But also, we have seen some younger people uh, get involved with that as well. Is, is it a better solution to smoking? And, and how effective do you think or how will that change how you look at lung cancer later on down the road? I think we are just starting to understand the effects of vaping and we do not have the experience that we do have. is that you know it is still advisable to stay away from vaping and um, hopefully the younger generation still understands and acknowledges that um, and will hopefully continue to you know decrease vaping in the future. We've seen the world come together to help with things like COVID, all the researchers coming together for different types of treatments. Can the world come together and finally find a cure for cancer? Is that the ultimate goal here and do you think you'll ever see that? I hope that I get to see that in my life. And that is certainly our goal as researchers, scientists, and clinicians, and our hope really. Um, and I think the last few decades, if not the last decade truly has been very, very promising. Um, and it is now becoming more of a reality. Um, so we're getting closer. Uh, again, I hope that it happens in my lifetime, uh, but I do know that we're certainly getting closer and closer uh, to finding treatments that if not cure our patients with advanced lung cancer, at least can them give them a, a very uh, long disease-free survival or give them a, a long period of time where they can live with their cancer um, so that cancer becomes another one of their chronic medical problems.
Dr. Patil, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for educating us on the lung cancer and the mortality rates as well. We appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Thank you for having me. Thanks, doctor.